Hi, I'm Vale Fucci, your go-to gear gal for all things photography. Today, we're going to be unboxing a brand new Adorama Glow Easy Lock Quick Strip Softbox. This one is 10 by 24 inches, so basically it's like a 1 by 2 softbox. I can't wait to open it and see what it's like. Always so excited to open up new gear. It's like Christmas morning. Oh my gosh. There it is. Nicely packaged. Here. Next up, and a nice little storage bag, and it makes it easy for me to find. It even actually says exactly what the uh, product size is there. And two different types of zipper ways I can open this. I can either choose to open it from the top, like this. Or I can choose to open it like this. Like that. I'm going to bring it out. I think since I've got it that way, I'll open it like that right now. This is our reflector plate. And this is the soft box itself. I'm going to set the nice little bag down for a moment here. You can see it Velcro shut here. So undo that. And then first when you open it, there'll be some bubble wrap here. So it's going to take that out. Okay. And to go ahead, and for the time being, I'm going to set these pieces down so that you can see just how to open this. It's very, very simple. It's just like opening an umbrella. So, and that's what I love about this whole system. It's so simple. So I'm just going to go and press this part straight down. If you end up having it kind of go to the side, it's not going to go on that little nut uh, sprocket right in the middle there. So you just want to make sure it's kind of squared up evenly on both sides and press it down. Okay, and that's all it takes to lock this softbox into place. Super simple. When you want to take it off, you just pull it back up. Okay. Now we're going to get that deflector piece here. I'm going to open that up. There. And in it, you're going to have the deflector plate and a little nut here. I'm going to do another video that will talk about which way you do it, what the effects of that are. But for right now, I'm just going to place it in the inverted way like this right now. So I just place the nut through. Right in there is the threaded hole. I place it on top and turn it righty tighty. Just like this. Okay. Now that's down. The next are the baffles. Open them up, all nice and fresh. You have the inner baffle, which it goes and attaches with little snaps like this, and the outer baffle or diffusion panel that attaches with Velcro. So I like to have the softness of the double diffusion, so I'm going to go ahead and put both in right now. Bring you in the inner one. So what you can see is it just has some little snaps right here. Let me just go ahead and put that on there. One, two, three, and four. And the great thing is once I've got this attached, I find I often like to close these up even with those at least a couple of them attached so that it just stays on and I don't ever worry about losing my diffusion panels. Then I just go to the corner for the outer one, place that in there. 
and you want to make sure you're doing it towards the lower portion of the velcro and not at the outer. And I'll explain why because we this also comes with a grid that you can put on it, but the grid also goes in on the velcro, so you need to make sure you leave enough space of the velcro to have space to put that grid in. Okay, so I go around, bring this to my corners. Just working the Velcro around the edges. Okay, into that corner and into my last corner here. Just working it around so I have a nice seal all the way around. Simple. You can see with a little hook and loop Velcro there. And there we go. Voila. It is now on. All right. With that, I'm going to now show you how to attach the grid. So here's our grid. It folds up nicely like this. And believe it or not, it will actually fold back up like that again. What we do is we just unfold it like this, and the same as with the other part, we have the Velcro here, of the sticky edges, and that's again why we want to make sure we place that uh, diffusion panel low enough in there on the Velcro. So I just go ahead, stick this in, my Velcro, it's very simple. And there we go. We now have our grid on there. So that was also super easy. <laughs> All right. Now, with that, a lot of times what people say is, okay, that's great. We're gonna go and we're gonna put it on our mount now. And so they'll go put the mount on just like this. I'm using the S2 mount. And click and lock in. And they go, okay, great, got it on. But I wanted my softbox to be oriented this way, not this way. And if I've got this on here, how am I going to make it go that way? Well, here's the little hidden secret. I'm gonna remove this briefly here. What most people never notice is this little knob right here. So it comes already, kind. it tightened down completely. You want to loosen that up. Once you loosen that knob right there on the mount, you can now move this in any direction that you want, okay? Which is fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead, put my mount on, click, I'm in. Now I can go ahead and position this in any orientation that I want. Once I've gotten it close, I'm going to tighten that down, that nut just a bit, not so tight that I can't turn it at all, because once I get it on my light stand, I'm going to want to actually be able to possibly adjust this just a little bit here or there. And then once I have it on the light stand and I have it just the way I want, I tighten that down. And there you go. And that is how you construct it. So it's the end of a shoot. I want to take it down, take off my S2. I'm going to just deconstruct by taking this part off. It nicely folds down. Back just like this. As promised, I told you, it actually goes back. Who would have thought? But it happens really easily. And then, if you try to close it, you'll go, okay, well, there's a, a diffusion panel in front of it. I can't just close it. You have to open this up. And then I open the other one. So I open just to the sides. Then, and I pull this back further so you can actually see. I'm going to go ahead and open up that reflector plate. 
So that's there. Now I can go ahead and open that. I've got my deflector plate out and I take the nut and I replace the nut right back on the shaft there so that it doesn't get lost. And just put it in loosely. I just tuck this back in, close it up like an umbrella, go around just like this, I have it closed. Get the handy handy little carrying case it has, place it right back in here. Or like we said before, it has that alternate zipper way that you can do it if you wanted to. I think I'll do that. And I'll just show for the grid. And I put the little plate right here. And that's it. I am all set. I'm ready to go. How convenient was that? I hope you liked this video and I hope you found it useful. If you do, be sure to go ahead and click subscribe down there and hit the bell so that you'll get notifications whenever I have new videos on there. If you have any questions, just leave a message in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it. Thank you. Have a great day.